today we will see the data warehouse components. So previously we have studied what is data warehouse, what is its feature, what is the difference between data warehouse, database and data mining. Today we will see data house components. So we are making a data warehouse. So what are, first what we will see, what are the different ways from where we collect the data to store in this data warehouse. So simply let's start. This is source data, means the sources from where we are getting to store getting data to store in this data warehouse. So what can be the sources? Suppose I want to store some information about a company. So what I will do? This is production data. Means in company itself, there is with some production data, there is some transactional data. This is that data. I will store this data also. Next internal data. There is some internal information, internal uh, information about the company, which only the company knows. All this data I will get. Archive data, the history of data, the historical data of particular company, archive data. Now, external data means the data I am getting from the different sources, which are a lot of companies. Suppose external sources means newspaper. I get some article in newspaper or online. I have searched something online or suppose there were some previous employee of that company. I met them and I collect the information that what was the positive points you feel about the company? What were the negative points you feel about the company? Or I can say, uh, what do you think? What techniques you have used? What was the proper technique? What was the improper technique? What technique uh, gives a profit? What companies give you the loss? And what, what uh, plans make the employees happy? All these things I can get from the external data. So source data means from where we are collecting the data, the sources can be different, different of company or out of company. Companies, production data, internal data, archive data, or external data, newspaper, Google, etc. All these things. So I have collected the source data from different different sources. I cannot store that data directly. Why I cannot store the data directly? Suppose there may be some Redundancy. Redundancy means repetition of data, means duplicate data. Redundancy means duplicate data. How duplicate data? Suppose there was some, uh, one employee told me something. I have got the same information online also. And uh, obviously, suppose the same information is archive data, same information internal data. So duplication of data is also there. Or the second thing, first one redundancy, second one inconsistency. Suppose here for particular uh, uh, detail, it is saying something else and this external data is something is saying something else. So inconsistency is also there, redundancy is also there, inconsistency can be also there. So I cannot store this data directly to the data storage. That's why first I will go to this data staging. What this data staging will simply do, it will clean the data. Data staging will clean the data. Clean the data means it will correct the data. It will eliminate the duplicate data. It will eliminate the inconsistent data or ambiguous data. All these things means all the incorrectness, duplicates, all these things clean in this state data staging. So data staging is mainly used for cleaning of data before storing the data. First, we have collected the information, collected the data from source data. Then we go to the data staging phase for data cleaning to remove the redundancy to remove the inconsistency to remove the ambiguous data all these things we do in data staging phase so see all books says that there are three main things related to this data staging that is extract transform load means simply this data staging do three things extract means extracting the data from different sources Transform means transform the data in correct format, standard format, like cleaning the data, redundancy removal, ambiguity removal, inconsistency removal, all these things. Transform means transforming data into a standard format, into a correct form. Okay, this is transform and load means simply load the data into the data storage. So this is our data staging phase. Now data storage. Now we come to after cleaning the data, what we will do? We will store the data. Now we will see how we store the data inside data warehouse. See they are, we can see here, this is data warehouse. Here this is summarized data, here metadata, here data marts. So now we will see one by one what are these. See data warehouse simply collection of whole data, entire data. See what metadata will do. 
we are studying in database also that metadata is data about data data about data so metadata in simple terms what metadata will have it will have all the file specification the name of the file what is the location of the file what is the size of the file what are the access method that who can access the data that all everyone cannot access your data suppose this is a company and this is you are the employee of this company this is your personal data no one else is allowed to access the data so all the access control method for security all these things are in this metadata data about data the files file name their specification their location access methods all these things are in this metadata so metadata is simply data about data that someone is querying someone is want to find some uh, something in the data warehouse what data what metadata will do it will tell all this information that what is the file name where this you have searched for this file and this file will be there their location all these things now let's see summarize data see in data warehouse there is detailed data means all the data is in the data warehouse but summarize data means you have collected the data in a summarized way summary means you have used some keywords etc so that you can fasten the query suppose someone has searched for something suppose someone has searched for csc department suppose this is a uh, uh, data where also all universities and someone has searched for csc department so this will not search in all entire data where also see it uh, we don't know how many of csc department it is having so what it will do summarize data will directly query direct the query in faster way it will make some use of keywords like csc it will find the keyword csc and direct to the query to that particular so summarize data is used for faster the query metadata is data about data data about all the files all the specification their location their security method all these to metadata this is also a way to fasten the query so that you can get the result as fast as possible and in summarized way you have used sub keywords etc to fasten the query so that the search is faster so this is also for fasten the query now we can see data mart see this is very important thing data mart data mart means simply you have they see in data warehouse there is entire data but in data mart there are department wise data what departmental wise departmental data hota hai how suppose there are five department csc department ec department civil mechanical electrical so what data one data mart will have related data about csc one will have about uh, electrical one will have about civil one will have uh, about mechanical how many data marts can be there metadata will be only one data warehouse will be only one summarized data will be only one but data marts can be many because data mart is basically departmental wise data ki you have stored the data related to one department to one location one part so that you can fasten the query simply data warehouse we have stored everything but to check everything is not easy task it is very time consuming ka, uh, task so we will what we will want simply we will want the query response in a faster way in a fast way so what we will do we have make some uh, 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 so we make some so we made some uh, ways to fasten the query to get the result as fast as possible so data mart department wise data storage metadata data about data all the file specification access method etc summarize data we have used some keyword to fasten the query now all this is about the data storage how we st store the data in data warehouse in different different forms now after this the last step is information delivery simply this is simple thing we have made a data warehouse why for getting some information to predict the result to predict the future analysis all these things so information delivery can be in form of suppose we have done suppose we are doing data mining data mining means analysis of results pattern finding okay you have done this then this was a profit you have done this then this was the loss so accordingly you can take for future strap to gain the profit or olap olap is simply online analysis processing analysis means we are analyzing data suppose we have put the butter 
we have put the brand in our uh, 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 shopping complex then the profit was this but when we have put butter with the uh, um, uh, bread then the profit rises and when we have put bread butter and jam together then the profit much rises so this way online analysis means analyzing the data and data mining means prediction of result and making the patterns so or simply these are same kind of things data mining also analyze the data making the patterns finding the future prediction so that you can increase your profit so this is all about the components of data warehouse